Good morning, YouTube land. Am I on my, am I on my good side? No, we gotta switch. Oh, <laughs> get my bad side? <laughs> like I have a good side. <laughs> Good morning, YouTube land. Um, Clinton, over one racing, back out in the garage with Hubert and Emily. And uh, we're here and we're gonna open up some- New toys. New toys, New yeah. Toys. <laughs> <laughs> Emily's bought her first um, tool for the garage whenever she gets her own garage. Oh, oh that's right, die grinder was number <laughs> one. This is the second one. This is the major one though. Yeah. And uh, since she went out and bought one, Harbor Freight, you know, of course, my favorite store, had a sale. So I decided, uh, I don't want to say upgrade, but get another jack for the garage. Um, I'll show you Old Trusty here. This is Old Trusty. I bought Old Trusty so long ago, I don't even remember where I got it from. This is a three and a half ton jack, and. Uh, You've seen better days. Yeah, I, <laughs> I've, I've had this thing for forever. These ones we got from Harbor Freight are only one and a half tons, but if you do the math, that's 3,000 pounds. Huber won't even weigh that when he's full of fuel and transmission and engine. Uh, he should probably come in close to what Simon is, 1,800 pounds. But yeah, this good old jack down here, I probably got it at Sam's Club when they first opened up in town, or Builder Square before they closed. <laughs> and it's been a good jack and man, I, I'm i trying to think back to back to back and how many cars I've lifted with it, but it's been several. I mean, the thing's 30 plus years old and yeah, it's been, it's been a good jack and I ain't getting rid of it. <laughs> I've got a couple more down here, these little home garage ones. Um, the red one, I don't know why I hang on to it. It's, uh, don't even work. <laughs> but the gray one, that's been another good jack. I think that was my very first jack when I first got Simon. And then we upgraded to, to a good old trusty. But yeah, we're, uh, we're going to open these things up and have them. We put one together and then uh, probably try picking Hubert up with them. Um, yeah, so hold on. All right, Emily. Get going. Let's see what it looks like. There's a lot of tape. <laughs> Can we pick it up? Yeah. How heavy do you think it is? See the muscles. Like All right. Pounds? Probably. I've been working out. Yeah, aluminum a lot nicer than the old ton. <laughs> when it says three and a half tons on the old trussy there, I'm kind of wondering if that's what the it weighs. Any more tape? There's tape. Probably got copyright on that. A box is smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's staples in it. Yeah, but it's like... I think I'm just going to take the tape on and it just slides right off. But of course, they tape it a bunch. Someone say knife. Knife. There <laughs> we go. All right. Another box open. Uh -huh. I'm guessing these go together. Yep. Is there a Pittsburgh one and a half ton aluminum jack, low profile with rapid pump? Oh wow, this clips together. <laughs> it's free. It is free. Oh, this is so Here's your instructions. Or some other guy's opinion. <laughs> this is the one? Yep. Is it Thumb screw. Here, I'll give it a game to see if it comes out. <laughs> nope. 
hurry and pick up, put it on the floor. Give it a whirl. Oh, bro. You might need to turn the handle. Which way? Probably that way to tighten. Pick your old man up. Wait a minute. You going up? I don't know. I think so. I don't think so. Did you tighten it all the right? way? Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And then. We'll give it a turn to lower it. Oh, sweet. Cool. Now I understand that. <laughs> I always wondered how you jacked it up. <laughs> now we'll get mine together. We got some saw horses to build and then uh, try picking the car up. Hang tight. Pick the car up. <laughs> Easy enough. Processing. Now, the moment of truth. Where are you going? Oh, are we gonna pick it up? We're gonna pick it up from the front here. Okay. Yeah. I'll show you how to do that. Get underneath there. See that? Oops, sorry. Uh, this thing? You see that beam right in the back? Right. Oh, yes, I see. Make sure there's a little hand part. Yeah, you can pick it right up there in the beam. Yep. yep. Try to get a little closer to the center. Close to the center? Yeah, uh, is that center? I can't see. Oh, get closer to the center. You see the pan part? Oh, yes. Yeah, right Not on the pan, but just right there. Right here. You see how the car. The jack handles the car by itself. Is that okay with like part of the panel? Nope, just move it over a little bit so it's a beam. There you go. Now get up from the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See how high it goes. Look at them looking good. Yeah, the car's coming up. There's suspension's actually moving. He's got suspension! Does it work? Are these rusty shocks? Probably not. Yeah. Should I just go all the way up? Yep, you go until it stops. Oh. That lift off. Higher. We gotta go way higher because the saw horse is underneath. Might have to put a block underneath it. Yeah. You'll know when it stops. Put it Probably about it. All right, that's the size that Stan's going to pick that up. And the front end of the car is 15 inches off the ground. About a foot. <laughs> Which is high enough to get in there to work underneath there. And uh, one thing I wanted to point out, as I mentioned earlier, that this is a low profile jack. It is literally less than four inches off the ground. Which this car, you can see Hubert here, we got him up uh, with the you know, tires and stuff. He's, Kind of got a high ride height, but uh, Simon front end sits a little lower, and the good old trusty jack won't go underneath there unless you kind of pick up on it a little bit. Usually, I had to grab one of the other smaller jacks to stick underneath there and start jacking them up before I can put the big one underneath there. But this low profile jack is going to come in handy for that situation. For safety reasons, you never want to work underneath the car with just a jack underneath it. You want to put jack stands or some type of a blocking device because you never know if that stand, that jack's going to fail. And the last place you want to be is underneath the car when it comes down. Hubert's hugs are kind of painful. <laughs> so what do you think, kid? You like it? I like it. All right, not a bad purchase. We're slowly getting her a uh, tool chest uh, built up. First, we should probably buy a toolbox or tool chest. <laughs> Start putting them in there. <laughs> Need some wrenches.
wrenches. <laughs> wrenches, yeah, yeah, screwdrivers, hammers. Everybody needs a good hammer. <laughs> but yeah, Jack's our success. Um, easy assembly. Even Emily did it. Yeah. Not saying anything about girls, but. <laughs> I'm just as capable. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, nice lightweight. Even the wife came out and picked it up and was surprised on how light it was. But yeah, time to go. Got some work to do. So yeah, as always, keep shifting those gears. See ya. I was just another guy.